Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well and you're having a great day or evening or whatever. Just got in a new fragrance today. I've already sprayed it on. I've been wearing it. So this is a glorified first impression. It is the new Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau Le Parfum. I don't even remember when this stuff was announced. It feels like forever ago. But you guys know how it's been. Uh, fragrances have been taking longer than usual to get to stores where you can actually get your hands on them. So this is the newest flanker, the follow-up to Le Beau, which the original Le Beau, a lot of you guys out there really enjoyed. Uh, the most interesting part of this fragrance is that coconut that it has. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the presentation, show you how this thing comes. I'll break it down, let you know what I think about it, and let you know whether or not you should check this out, and also let you guys know how, at least initially, I feel about this one as compared to the original. So let's jump into it, let's check this out. So here is the can not box. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance on the front there, nothing up top. On the bottom, you'll find a little bit of information. And I have to say this every time, but in case you're unaware, for any reason, you just pull on the bottom and that's where your bottle's gonna be. I know it's kind of a meme, but some people have actually opened these up with the can opener. Don't do that, just, just pull on it. So when you open it up, the bottle is gonna be sitting down inside there like this. The bottle style is the same as with the original Le Beau. It's got that more angular, modern looking style to it. Has a little leaf covering up his uh, private parts. Kind of funny that on these bottles they decided, yeah, let's go ahead and throw a leaf over there. Let's go ahead and cover that up. Whereas on the other ones, they're like, nah, man, just give them a sick bulge. Love the gradient coloration here. Darker up top, gets clear down toward the bottom, looks really good. You have that little pull tab like with all of the uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances, or Lamal fragrances, I should say. On the bottom, you'll find your badge code. Mine is 13451. And let me go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys here so you can see how the atomizer works. It's actually really good. And when you first spray this fragrance on, you get a really big blast of fruity sweetness. You've got pineapple on the top and you get a good amount of it. There's a little bit of iris there, but just kind of a touch around the edges. And, and truly with this fragrance, that iris is never overly prominent. You just get a little bit of it here and there. It never really is a focal point. So if you were hoping that this was gonna have a whole bunch of iris, whether the soapier kind or the more lipsticky, makeup-y kind, you're really getting neither of those. You get it a bit in the opening. You can pick up a touch of that iris. It's just maybe not as prominent as some people were hoping, including maybe myself. So again, back to the opening, bunch of pineapple. Really sweet, very fresh, fruity, but that pineapple fades very fast. And you can also pick up coconut in the opening as well, which is not a big surprise because again, going back to the original, there was a whole lot of coconut there. Now that said, the coconut in Le Beau Le Parfum is not as tropical, not as fresh as in the original Le Beau. So you could say it's been tamped down a little bit, you know, some of that, that lightness, that sweetness that you associate with the specific coconut note is not here. A lot of sweetness in the opening, but a lot of that's coming from the pineapple, not as much from the coconut. They do work together in tandem when you first spray this on really well. I think the opening actually smells great here. You get a bit of woodiness, specifically cypress in the opening, and as it dries down, it becomes more of kind of an amber woody feel. So like amber wood and tonka mixed together as it dries. And it also has this almondy kind of undertone the longer that it stays on your skin, which is a little bit strange, actually. The first time I smelled it, I thought, what is that? Like there's this kind of weird thing going on here because you'll smell the fragrance as it dries. You get that coconut, comes across a little bit creamy. As I said, not as tropical, not as freshly sweet as in the original Le Beau. Still has some sweetness that carries over from the opening into the mid into the dry down. Definitely the most sweet when you first spray it on, but some of that carries over. So anyway, you smell that coconut, you get a little bit of this creamy feel from it. And then it's almost like when that clears out of your nose, like once you've perceived that sort of creaminess, you get hit with that that almondy feel, like amber woods, tonka, and an almondy 
coconut after smell. And I do think that this is more of like a, you know, spring fall time take on this, kind of a, a reimagining to an extent. It doesn't smell to me like something I would wear in summer. Now, when you first spray it on, you get it with that pineapple, that fresh fruity sweetness, you would think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could wear this in the high heat, but then once that dissipates, and as I said, it does pretty quickly, and the, the coconut comes in with some of that, that cypress, additional woods and tonka, at that point, it doesn't smell at all like a summer scent to me. It's, it's too heavy. Well, I say too heavy, I don't mean that it comes across like, ugh, you know, like really dense. It still does have a, a little bit of a lift to it, but with the creaminess and that kind of almond nature, the tonka, the amber woody feel that it has, it, it doesn't smell like a summer scent. As far as daytime or nighttime use, either one. It, it doesn't lean really one way or the other. I know the bottle is, you know, a little darker and it looks like maybe this is an evening type take on the bow. Mm, I think either way, you know, day or night. Performance wise, you know, this is the first time I've been wearing it. So it's hard for me to say definitively. And I say that every time I do a first impression, but it's still true, still need to say it, but it seems good. Now it projects best in that first 30 to 45 minutes. After that, it does sit a little closer to the skin. Uh, I also got in 1 million elixir and I tried that on the other day and 1 million elixir, uh, that video will come out before too long, but that, that's got more punch than this one. I'll tell you that much. So anyway, this one, yeah, the first 30, 45 minutes projects best. Sits a little bit closer to the skin after that, but it does have good longevity overall and above average uh, performance on the whole, I'd say. It would appear to be one of those fragrances that's gonna last throughout the day or evening pretty easily. And it definitely projects enough that people are gonna be able to pick it up pretty easily. It's just in that first 30 to 45 minutes, it projects heavily, heavily. After that, it starts to dial down and get more moderate. Because the first time I sprayed this on, maybe 15, 20 minutes later, my wife came like 20 feet away from me and she was like, what do you spray on in there? And when I was first smelling this, actually, the very first time I sprayed it on, it was giving me this like fuzzy feeling in my nose, almost like I was going anosmic, nose blind to it. So how do I feel about this overall? Well, I love the opening. As I said a couple times, I think it smells great. It is very sweet, but I think it's still done in a good way. Like it makes sense when you smell it, it's really pleasant. It doesn't, you know, bash you over the head. Well, some people will disagree with that probably. They'll, they'll say that the sweetness is too much, but I think in the opening, the sweetness is great. When it goes through the mid is when it loses me a little bit. And that's because of that. Again, it's kind of hard to describe best way I can at the moment is kind of an almondy undertone. But when that comes in, it kind of it kind of throws you off a little bit because you're maybe not expecting it. And then when you smell it, and I, I think it's just the coconut, the way the coconut is used here that causes that, it's potentially a little bit off-putting. I think some people would smell that. And, and when they get a big whiff of it, just go, oh, I don't know, a little weird. Truthfully, in comparing the new Le Beau Le Parfum side by side with the original Le Beau, the original smells nicer. And that's because it doesn't have that undertone that I don't really like through the mid. I know I keep harping on it, but that almost breaks the fragrance for me. For some people, that won't be the case. Some people will smell it and they'll be like, oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice. But for me, every time I smell it, at least until it hits the dry down, which is much nicer, the opening and the dry down, completely fine. But anyway, every time through the mid, when I give it a smell, I get that slightly unpleasant undertone that kind of wafts in. And the original doesn't have that. The original is much fresher and livelier. You know, it's got more sparkle to it. And so in that aspect, when you compare them side by side, that makes the original a little bit more tempting to wear as compared to this one, because you don't have that period where you're kind of going, Ugh, I don't know. I like the opening in Le Beau Le Parfum more. I think it smells nicer than the opening in the original. Dry down, it's kind of six half dozen. They're both completely fine. But in the mid, the original smells much better than this one. So I guess the issue there is that if the opening is so much nicer in this one, but the mid is nicer in the original and the opening is gone in this one very quickly, then the original is the better one overall for me, even if I'm more interested in wearing this one right now because I just got it in. So if you ask me which one I wanted to wear, I'd probably go with Le Beau Le Parfum even if the original overall, I might like more, if that makes sense, because I'm still kind of getting used to this one. I think it is potentially more divisive. I think more people 
will dislike Le Beau Le Parfum as compared to the original Le Beau because of that that moment that I've talked about uh, a few times now in the mid where it's a little odd, but I think overall the original Le Beau is going to appeal to more people. I think if you're looking for one that's gonna be more of just that, you know, attention grabber, compliment puller, that kind of deal, that the original probably is a better way to go for most people. So we'll see how it goes. You know, I'll give this more wear and we'll see if I come to really enjoy and appreciate that mid. As of right now, it's more tolerating it. We'll see, you know, I'll do a follow-up review after I can give this more wear, and wear it out around people and all that good stuff. So there we go, Le Beau Le Parfum, initial impressions, love the opening, really like it. The mid has some issues, we'll say. It's not completely unenjoyable, but at the same time, sometimes I smell it and I, I don't really like that undertone it has. And the dry down is completely nice and pleasant. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.